In the wake of Hurricane Harvey, some people claim hurricanes are getting worse, and they blame it on climate change. Joining us now is Bjorn Lomberg, author of The Skeptical Environmentalist. Bjorn, on the phone with us now. Is, is climate change to blame for Hurricane Harvey, as so many people suggest? Uh, I hear it. Uh, no. Fundamentally, we've just seen 12 years where there hasn't been a major hurricane landfall in the U.S. So you can't really say Hurricane Harvey is caused by climate change unless you also say that the longest stretch of no major hurricanes hitting the U.S., is also caused by global warming. But the reality is, if you actually look over the last 140 years, we've seen fewer hurricanes hit the U.S. That's both true for all hurricanes, for major hurricanes, and even for the strongest, the four and five category hurricanes. So there's no evidence for this. That's also what the U.N. Climate Panel tells us. They tell us that they actually have no or low confidence that there'll be any increase in tropical cyclone activity. Well, Bjorn, does that make you a climate change skeptic? I believe you are a climate <laughs> scientist. Are you, are you a skeptic? Uh, first, first of all, I'm not a climate scientist. I'm, I'm a political scientist. I work on the economic impacts and how we best uh, tackle this. But I read, just like everyone else, the UN Climate Panel and all the other reports, and fundamentally, there's a very big divide between what the science is actually telling us, namely that climate change will probably result in slightly stronger and slightly fewer hurricanes. So there is an issue here, but it's not the one that you're being presented with, oh, Hurricane Harvey was caused by global warming. This is what the global warming looks like. And the second part, and that's, that's where my expertise is much more relevant, I think, is that's the wrong way to point if you actually want to help future victims of Hurricane Harvey and Hurricane Irma and all the others. If you want to help, cutting carbon emissions is probably the least effective way of helping the future. It'll be very costly and it will achieve almost nothing. And of course, remember, even at best, global warming is only a marginal impact on hurricanes. There's still going to be lots of hurricanes, even if there was no global warming. Okay. So the reality is what you need to do is to focus on building better infrastructure. You know, okay. get, get countries like Houston where you can actually handle uh, big downpours or get uh, uh, communities in, in Florida that can handle okay. lots of wind. Bjorn, that's what we wanted, some perspective on the whole thing, and you gave it to us. Bjorn Lumberg with us on the phone there. Thanks, Bjorn. Good to see you again. Thank you.